well we have our phone line right here and then we have our db which we are setting up today on firestore and we are connecting the two now this is all good and fun but it requires a couple of things in order for this all to work which i learned the hard way we've got authentication we need to set up we've got the db rules which means even if i'm authenticated i need to be able as a user to write to that db right to write and read for example we need good connectivity right in order to do all of that as you know i'm using ChatGPT, which pretty much uh, sucks for this experiment uh when I tried to connect the two and let me show you exactly why and how I use ChatGPT. I use uh, ChatGPT 4. It is not the free version and I should have done something different than what I did, which I'll show you in a second. But here, basically with the free version, you need to remember or I had to remember that ChatGPT learns from the corpus of the internet. For our discussion, it's important to remember that there is Stack Overflow which I'm sure you're all familiar with, perhaps some documentation up until around, right, one year back. This is perhaps the, the key part here. It takes the, the data that it can find, it can put its hands on, GPD will go, come back with that answer based on what's up there in the internet, based on what has been there in the past. Now where all of this becomes interesting when it comes to software development as I learned this weekend. Software is eating the world but also developers, 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 is de moving very fast. Whatever we are likely to use would have a growing uh, community, fast pace which leads to many versions and iterations. What we need to learn here is it is likely that ChatGPT will provide irrelevant, with the lack of a nicer word, irrelevant answers. This is what happened to me. Taking this in consideration, there's two things we can do, but let me show you, before I show you the two things we can do to avoid this situation that we can do, but before that, jump into what happened? We're starting where we left uh, the other time with handle submit ready here with basically is doing nothing and we are using GPT to fill it in so actually something happens so it is being saved just copy pasting it's being saved to Firestore right to the database that we've chosen for this project. So the suggestion is to use set doc with doc and db yada as you can see here yada 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 when we go to try it out and we open the console we get those errors so it doesn't work and i'm just uh, i'm pretty sure at that point that my syntax is on point and when i pass it in i keep on getting similar instructions to double check some stuff that i think should work well and that's where it's interesting so i am poking chat gpt to double check the recency okay the recency of the answers i'm getting Right, so I, I'm asking ChatGPT to, to use current um, best resources. So this uh, is harder for ChatGPT to, to do, but uh, lo and behold, um, the answer changes. Right, so we get something slightly different. That wasn't good enough. And when I went on to Reddit, I realized that for Firebase version nine and above, there's a different syntax that should be used and rather than using some function i should use another one so basically this is the kind of um refactoring or or not even refactoring but just the redoing of uh of software you know across the years we might end up with something that is obsolete or just um, irrelevant so when i'm checking here to see that the database gets the rights that it's being written into the database um, it seems to not work. I'm getting a 200 um, answer. Basically, it's supposed to work if you check the network panel, but it doesn't write to the DB. So once again, same thing, double check yourself and use the most recent option, right? 
um, this is where what I'm trying to get out of out of uh, ChatGPT, and I'm even giving it the reference, right? The reference for how it's like in the recent doc. I'm copy pasting it from the, from the documentation. It's really really thick hint, and when you provide it, then ChatGPT goes pretty much saying, "Oh, actually, there's been some changes." So. Let me just rewrite my answer. Let me give you something more recent. It's better to use, you know, the most recent kind of syntax or how the people working on that piece of software intended it to be used. But also, it will just not work um, otherwise. So as you can see here, I'm just putting it in the in the diff checker to see the differences, and there's quite a bit of a difference, right? So that's another uh, good way to do it. I think that you can type uh, or copy paste the block, the relevant block of code, if you know what is the scope that is relevant for the error you're getting and putting it as a screenshot into ChatGPT. Um, and that's gonna give a lot more context uh, for ChatGPT to give you the answer for. There's intricacies of how um, a collection or, or a document, so the collection is a bunch of documents and there's intricacies of how a document is being created in terms of um, the ID that is auto-generated on the flight, uh, which didn't exist earlier, uh, which was an issue here. All right, this has been the second review. If you want to see the full launch when it goes live, subscribe and you will get notified when the app is being launched.